Let's look at how we can import text and additional ADRQ information from a typical PDF, Microsoft Word, or Microsoft Excel formatted dialog list or dubbing script into ADR Master via the import shooting script window. Dialog lists and dubbing scripts are usually supplied during the language reversioning or adaptation process of a soundtrack. They usually contain all the lines of dialog to be recorded, the character names, together with their relevant timecode endpoints, and sometimes also timecode outpoints, although sometimes no timecodes are supplied. ADR Master is able to quickly pass, recognize, extract, and populate multiple ADRQ fields simultaneously from such a file during the ADR queuing stage via the Import Shooting Script window. First, go to File, Import Events from File, and select the file. Identify or confirm the script pattern to match the order of and which additional ADRQ field information is recognized. In this case, for a dialog list, it would likely be timecode in, character, and text. If the order is incorrect in the script pattern field compared to how a line is presented in the dialog list, simply click and drag any of the script pattern components to a different position in the field until the orders match. Other fields like notes and queue number could also be added as well with the plus button to the right of this field box. To help better auto-identify the following queues, only add fields that are relevant to the information available in this type of document. Click in the script section to select the first line of relevant information, in this case the timecode endpoint. Next, while holding down the shift key, use the arrow down key to select the other lines that need selecting for this queue, in this case the character and dialog text. The up arrow can also be used to move in the opposite direction. The right-hand column will show what fields will be mapped, so you can confirm they will be correct before committing them to the fields above. Hit the new queue button or the hotkey combination Shift-N to enter this information into the relevant fields. If you would like to specify a timecode outpoint at this stage, place the cursor in the timeline at the end of the dialog. Press the hotkey combination Command-F10 to capture this timecode outpoint. If no timecode endpoint was originally supplied, place the cursor in the timeline at the start of the dialog. Press the hotkey combination Command F9 to capture this timecode endpoint. If Pro Tools is synced and connected with door control, the in and out points of the queue can also be captured or modified from a timeline selection within Pro Tools by pressing the hotkey combination Command F8. Play the line. To translate or modify the text, hit the T key or double click the text field. Hit the end key once you have finished modifying any field. The character field will have extracted the character name for that line and if not already defined, defines a new character for the current project. To modify this, hit the C key or double click the character field. The queue number will have been generated based on the project's queue numbering scheme preferences in the project window. To manually modify this, hit the letter Q or double click the queue number field. To add any additional notes, hit the N key or double click the notes field. We are now ready to add this ADR queue to the project as a new visual event. To do that, simply hit the commit and clear button or use the hotkey combination Alt spacebar. This will also clear all queue fields ready for the next queue import. As the format of such a file is more constant than for example a shooting script, the import of multiple queues can be done very quickly. Once the first has been correctly identified, the next potential queue will be displayed in the fields ready for committing. If you would prefer that the fields are not cleared after being committed as a new visual event, use the commit button instead, or use the hotkey combination shift alt spacebar. If you would ever like to clear all the fields in one go, hit the clear button, or use the hotkey combination alt x. The state of the import shooting script window is stored as part of the project file, so if you don't manage to do all the queuing in one sitting, you can still shut down your computer and return to it another day. Once the same project is loaded again, the import shooting script window will return in the same state of progress and will remain there until it is finally closed with the red window button top left.